Hello everyone and welcome to another tips and tricks video from Switch. My name is Kent and in this particular video, we are going to talk about an updated version of the Photos app in macOS Sierra. Photos allows you to organize, edit and share your photos. But with macOS Sierra, there's some cool features. Let's check it out. Alright, so what you're seeing over here is my newly freshly installed macOS Sierra. And uh, as usual, I'll be using a few teaching aids. From time to time, you'll see me zooming in and zooming out on the screen to focus your attention on a certain aspect of the operating system. Also, from time to time, you can see feedback on the screen to represent me clicking my mouse. Now, let's get started by talking about Photos. Photos is a free application that comes included in macOS Sierra and previous operating systems from Apple. And what's so special about Photos is that it helps you organize, edit, and share your photos. And there's something new in OS, Mac OS Sierra, which is called Memories. But first thing first, Photos is still very, very blazingly fast. For example, over here, I got a few thousand, 1,000 photo 36 videos. It just scrolls through it really, really fast. Uh, I can go all the way to maximum resolution here. And scrolling is not an issue. It just loads all the images with no issues in it whatsoever. And, and you still have the same collections organized by date, by years, by time, by month, even by location, because if your photos have uh, locations, it actually does that. But what makes photos special now is the fact that you have something called memories. So memories, this is what memories is. Notice that it groups it based on the date and location. This information are taken from your photos, the date, the timestamp, and of course, uh, based on location information, it actually keeps that information inside each photo. So when you click on memories, what happens is it automatically merges it. It creates a beautiful album automatically. So if I click on one of these memories, let me just double click on, on this day, April 30th, you can see that these are all the photos that is related to this particular date, memories. And it includes the people. If you notice that you actually categorize it, that these are the photos arranged beautifully, the people, that means the faces it detects, the places, where you took it, and anything related to it. So this makes it so easy to actually find all the photos that you've taken. You've been to a vacation, you've been with family members, you don't have to do anything. Apple in Photos are helping you organize your photos into memories. Don't take my word for it. Load your photos into memories. Uh, sorry, load your photos inside the Photos app. It's automatically, if you're using an iPhone, if not, you just drag and drop the photos. Trust me, you will love photos. And that's not all. So let's say I want to search for something. So let me just search for dog, D-O-G. So notice that photos actually help to find information related to that word. And this is something new. So if I type dog, it try to find something related to it as much as it can. So it's not 100% perfect, but it does, its, it does its best to do so, searching by the category. Okay? So if I say I want to go to, uh, say, vacation, Okay, there's no result because I have no tags for that. Uh, if I say I want to go to uh, hike, okay, notice it search for description or keywords that you might have typed, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can actually start tagging your photos, the information, etc., the keyword manager, okay, and all these keywords you can edit it. So if I edit the keyword, you can say I want to add the keyword for, say, uh, guitar, perhaps. So rename it. So now I have a new keyword, which I can use and apply it. So if I want to select a few photos, perhaps, okay, then I can just name it, uh, give a quick group called guitar. And let me just search again. Keyword, guitar, it should be the four photos I selected. 
So these are all useful tools okay, that you can use in photos. And always, as always, you can still share it out with iCloud Photo Sharing. And uh, you can do new projects, things like uh, gift cards, uh, sorry, cards, uh, calendars, photo albums, that here in Switch, we can help you print it out as a service. Okay? So check it out. Photos is new, uh, fresh, clean interface, improvements all over. It comes included in OS, Mac OS Sierra. Try it out. If you have not upgraded, please do so. And I hope that you learned something new. I find it very cool. Support us on social media. Like us, follow us, and subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and so much more. Give us your comments and suggestions. And we hope that you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Kant saying bye-bye.